be the Luigi matchup. I feel like Luigi probably does pretty well here. Uh, being really slidey, it's hard for Bowser to really get in. Um, the the edge guard potential is also really strong. Like Luigi can basically just rinse and repeat a lot of edge guards against Bowser with back air, down air. So what can Marth do? You're the Marth expert here, known uh, for your Marth and your heyday. Yeah, so Marth uh, basically can keep uh, keep uh, keep Luigi out with uh, a lot of the wave dash approaches. The trick for Luigi is basically to find the Marth's rhythm where he likes to swing, like we saw right there, that side step. It's how you wave dash in with your side step with alternating speedy, uh, alternating speeds to slip in uh, through Marth and then uh, start blowing him up once you get the grab, jab, checks, and et cetera. Marth just wants to uh, make sure that he's less predictable and just continues to push Luigi so he has less and less room to wave dash and, and find approach off. So basically, Luigi's trying to get close and underneath Marth. Correct. OK. And Blade Jello takes the first stock clean. He has a little lead. And this is the painful part of Marth because it's hard for him to find a kill setup at this percentage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, combos are a little bit tricky. Marth can count, uh, kind of combo Luigi, but uh, it's just, just floaty enough to where you don't really get as many uh, hard down air setups. So most of it's really just going to come down to just basic edge guards at higher percentage <laughs> or, a lot or of up tilts. A lot of spot dodges. Mm -hmm. Luigi's sidestep is through. Oh, wow, the ledge cancel too. Ooh, let's go. Like a jello. Oh, <laughs> Warrior Knight's struggling. Yeah. So how do you edge guard here? Um, deny ledge. That's right. That's right. Deny ledge. Deny ledge. Deny ledge. That's deny ledge. Uh, always uh, step one. Deny ledge. Okay. Because uh, if you force Luigi to get into positions where he has to up B, really, really easy to stuff it, check it. Right now, Blade Jello taking advantage of Marth in the air. Do you feel like he's jumping a little bit too much? Um, usually don't want to be in the air unless you're in what I call the pocket, where you're like basically on top of where Marth would be in shield range. Yeah. Uh, that's where it's okay to be in the air. But being in the air um, when Marth can just run up and forward air you, generally not as good. Yeah, the Blade Jell is doing a really job just going in, and he's shielding appropriately, and he's getting he knows when he seems to need to go in. Yep. He slides in, forces Marth to shield, dances on shield, and then the, the sidestep mix-ups. Like, most Marths like to swing in certain spots. So that's why it's all about changing and adjusting your rhythm against Luigi. Uh, all the Marios are kind of like that way against Marth. Mm -hmm. Marth is really strong because it's really hard to define those timings, but when you do, then you'll actually find the match to be really easy. Yeah. But that's that's where it's hard. It's like, okay, how, how many adjustments are they going to make? Uh, is he going to start delaying the down tilts now? Is he going to start using down tilt? Uh, is he going to start uh, looking for grabs? Is he going to start dash dancing, trying to force shield? But instead, he's, he's kind of swinging with that rhythm. <laughs> Blea Jello just kind of dancing with it. Yeah, and he, he's just getting in at will. And it seems like Warrior Knight's really uncomfortable with the spacing that Leia Jell is giving him. Mm -hmm. um, he's playing so close. And he, I feel like with Marth, you need to reset a lot. And he's not getting that space to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marth wants to do the opposite. He wants to push Luigi to the corner, um, make him make the tough choices, because then like his wave dash approach options are more limited. Let's see if he can get something started. He's playing a little bit more patient, and I, I, you can see he's a little mm -hmm. bit more tentative about throwing the aerials, but Blade Jell is still finding the pocket to go in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those wave dash da uh, jab checks are also really good because uh, they can come out faster than Marth can forward air a lot of the time. I, if I recall correctly, I think Ooh. Luigi has a three-frame jab. Not sure. And that was a clean two-stock by Blade Jell to take game one. Yeah, he's got to be feeling pretty good about that. And on Battlefield, um, where you know Luigi, while Luigi's pretty good on stage, um, the recovery is kind of limited there because they only have, if they were trying to go to the ledge, they only have that one spot to go and there's no wall riding. So if they miss time their 4B at all, like it's pretty bad. And then they can, uh, Marth can just kind of challenge them right on the ledge when they collide their head with the uh, the, the stage, or we, the side of the stage. So, you know, Bowser is so good on Yoshis. Do you mm. think that's a possibility here? If he doesn't ban Yoshis, but it's possible that Leagello will ban Yoshis because Marth like to take Luigi's there. Though Luigi is Plenty good on, on Yoshi's as well. Um, I think we're going to see a switch here. He's going Zelda. Okay, I didn't know. Probably Sheik. I don't yeah, know he she actually had a pocket Sheik. Yeah, I mean, old school players generally did have a pocket Sheik. Um, really good low tier killer. But in this day and age, though, I feel like Sheik, um, Sheik uh, is not as free for Sheik against the mid tiers. <laughs> Well, for the mid tiers to evolve to this level, they need to get past Sheik. Sheik. So mm -hmm. um, they're the super evolved form of the mid tier. <laughs> <laughs> Six. 
It's a little tricky. You just can't spam four tilts and four airs like you used to. They know how to weave in and out. Ooh, good yeah, recovery. so a lot of a lot of the uh, the matchups going to revolve around how much Sheik is going to basically also stuff approaches similar to Marth, like putting out the feet, putting out the hands, and then also invading Luigi's space and getting grabs and keeping Luigi afloat, but also still in a way that uh, you can respect the, uh, the the Luigi three frame neutral air coming down. Yeah, that neutral air comes out so quick. But another lead from uh, Bleagello. Ooh, the <laughs> little zone there where you're invincible. Yep, untouchable. Down throw. No, he waits. The calls, but reversals. Reversals on reversals. Ooh, can he get no that near? So a lot of, I mean, Chillin' Dude actually has a really good video on learning how to play against Luigi. And just it revolves around whether or not they do the near, because if they throw it out and they miss, you have so much time to just hit them. Yeah, the artificial lag uh, from just their fall speed and then eventually landing and having to L cancel. That is where you uh, tend to want to punish them. Oh, he misses the, the DP. Ooh. And the a, lot of the, dragon punch. a lot of the low tier characters know how to DI out of the throat to minimize the damage, and that's so important. So you see Warrior Knight going for tilt off the grab and not getting anything off of it. All right, maintaining his lead right now. Let's see how he uses his invincibility. Doesn't look like he gets anything <laughs> out of it. He's waiting for the near. And the, the really good Luigi is they will hold not doing an aerial until they absolutely have to use it. <laughs> yeah, uh, they try to get it as, as close to the ground as possible to minimize uh, all threats, uh, counterattacks. But Sheik also has uh, quick three frame moves out of shield and out of hit stuns. So it can be a, you know, a button, button race. So this is the ongoing joke about Sheik, right? He's doing okay. He's not doing spectacular, but he's kind of keeping it somewhat respectable. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how often he plays Sheik, and that's like the running meme. It's like, oh, Sheik's just such an easy character. Mm -hmm. And she's easy to learn. Hard to master, though. Yeah. Most definitely. Like, Sheik, yeah, Sheik is not going to make it. In this day and age, Sheik doesn't make it free. Uh, unless you're playing Ness. Right? Yes. And oh, then, my then, gosh. And then it's pretty bad. But <laughs> Everyone has their little bag of tricks. Yeah. Lots of ways to try to get around it. <laughs> but a lot of times it's actually still smoke and mirrors. So if, the Sheik, if the Sheik's not familiar with the matchup, then uh, it makes it look like it's doable, even though it may not be. <laughs> yeah. Like, you just watch, like, Mewtwo King play West Bowls. It's like, oh, like, you see DK beat SUJ, and you're like, oh, it could happen, and he gets force stock by MTK. It's like, ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want any of your nonsense. <laughs> Seems like they're going at it. I remember um, a Sheik from your region, Okami, he played Blade Jello like a couple years ago, just needle camp, and it invalidated Luigi so hard. Yeah, he's also a SoCal. He's actually a Hamarva hybrid. He's actually a SoCal native, but he was in AZ for, for a while back in the day for school. He moved back to Cali. Shout out to him. He's watching. <laughs> Let's go, Okami. But uh, he should be able to pick this up. It's, this a, that's a good edge guard. Um, you know, he didn't yeah, get the yeah. hit, right hit he wants. Um, denying ledge really, really limits Luigi's options for uh, recovering at all. Can he do it? You uh, believe? He only can do it if he uh, has double jump and potentially air dodge. But even then, by denying ledge, you're forcing him to still do laggy recovery options. I'm talking about making the comeback. Oh, right making now. the comeback. My bad. Uh, but no. no. <laughs> <laughs> the answer. Of course. Not. All right. Congrats to Blade Jello for that 2 0 victory to make it to the <laughs> second round of round two pools. <laughs> I beat. Uh.